Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to toggle the visibility of components in the 3D world. To get started, add any layout you want to the 3D world. So I have a layout open here. I'll now select the robot in the 3D world. And if I go to the Component Properties panel, you can see that every component has a visible property. So right now it's selected so I can see the robot in the 3D world. But if I clear the checkbox, the robot is no longer visible. I can also go to the Cell Graph panel and you can see the robot which I have selected is indicated here and there's a slash through its eye icon. That means the component is not visible. So if I click the eye icon, the robot is once again visible in the 3D world. You can also do this for a category. So I have the robots category here. I can click the eye icon and notice that toggles the visibility of all components in that category. And you might notice something here called factory facilities. There's actually fences right now in my lab, but you can't see them because this entire category is hidden, or all the components that are listed there. Now, instead of turning them on or off, what I can do, I can select this option here called Show Hidden Components. So this allows you to temporarily see invisible components in the 3D world, select them, and edit their properties. So instead of having to toggle their visibility, you can just show them using this option here. You can see, yep, here are the fences, they're highlighted a purple color, and here's also the robot that was also toggled off, or its visibility. So let's actually make the robot permanently visible, so I'll toggle it on. There we go. You can see it's back to its normal color, but the fences and this door are hidden, but right now I'm just showing them in the 3D world, so I can select the door here. It is selected, and I can edit its properties here, so you can see it's visible property, its checkbox is cleared, so if I select it, you can see it's now visible in the 3D world and its color changes. So what I can do here, I can turn off this show hidden components option here, and I'm back to my normal layout. Now we have this door over here, so that looks kind of strange, so it's actually selected in the 3D world. Go back to the cell graph panel and toggle its visibility. There we go. So when you're teaching a robot or recording a simulation, you may want to quickly turn off the visibility of components or turn them back on. So you can use the eye icon here for a category or the individual components. So I can turn on the factory facilities to show the fences. And let's also show the door. And I can record the simulation or you know do whatever I need to when I have to show the fences. Or I can just turn them off permanently, their visibility, and just show them when I need to using this option here. Now, notice that I was using two different categories. What I can do, I'll go ahead and drag the accessories category here in the cell graph panel that contains the door. I actually will make that a part of the factory facilities category, so I can just drag and drop it on top of that category, and now they're merged. Another way to do that is to select the item, go to the component properties panel. You can see that every component has a category property, and notice that the door is now set to factory facilities but I can edit this, let's say, Factory Facilities 2. And if we go back to the cell graph panel, you can see now it's its own category again. But we can merge it by dragging and dropping it, or just renaming the category over here in the Component Properties panel. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, have a wonderful day.